Hello and welcome to Grower's Farm. My name is James and uh, today is August the 10th and uh, yeah we are still waiting for our crops to grow. Uh, as I said it's uh, as I said last time it's it's quite late at the harvest season here in Scotland. You tend to let your crops grow for as long as possible. Uh, however we also want to give our crops a boost so um, yeah, today's going to be a little bit of a mixed thing uh, on my blog. Um, we've got, to start off with, uh, we're going to take the uh, older trailer here. Uh, we're going to take this round and muck out the cows. The cows are looking a little bit messy. So uh, we're going to get them done first. Uh, once we've done that, um, we've got the care wheels. In fact, you can just see it there. Uh, I've, uh, I've put the care wheels on the uh, T6 this morning. Uh, because we need to take uh, that up and give the potatoes one last go. I mean, the potatoes we will be uh, we will be doing later in the year. Uh, as I said, we've got a contract coming in to do that, but those need to be uh, put into some better uh, condition. They're not quite there yet. Um, they're looking a little bit lackluster, so I want to give them a spray of fertilizer. Uh, before it gets too late, too close to their harvest. Right, we want to get this uh, excess food cleaned up first. There we go. And we'll put that back in their trough. That will go well for them. Uh, and then we have an awful lot of manure in here to clear out. So, uh, yeah, just... just Making sure that our cows are doing okay. Now, this is always fun to manoeuvre this tractor through here like this. I always have to end up driving over the manure first to get myself in the right position. Yeah, big tractor, small manoeuvring space. This is where something like a skid steer would come in really handy on this farm. The trouble is, I can't... Uh, yeah... This tractor does the job very, very nicely. So I can't really say that one is uh, is a good idea. There we go. That should do it. Uh, we should get this cleared fairly quickly. Right, and right up. Like so. And... Into the trailer. There we go. Easiest way to do it is that with this um, when I when I can't see out the roof here, just send it straight up, park as close to the trailer as I can, and tip it in. And that way, I know that it's going to go into the trailer. There we go. Right here. Filling this again. This will only take about three or four of these, which is uh, which is not bad. Uh, nice size bucket. This just under two thousand liters, seventeen uh, seventeen hundred and eighty uh, liters. Uh, this bucket takes, which is uh, which is not bad. There are bigger ones out there uh, that I know of. Uh, you know, we could go over two thousand liters, but to be perfectly honest, this bucket has always done us uh, quite nicely on this farm. Whoa. See, that's, that's why. There we go. It's all fine. Let me just clip it with the bucket a little bit. Yeah, this is a, oh, a nice bucket, this one. Just like so. Yeah, that's, this is our third one, and, uh, and it's going okay. It's working well. I'll show you guys sort of the height that we get with this. Right, so it's not bad at all. That uh, works well. There's this.
There we go. And up. We have to make sure. Yeah. We. Ah. Clear it. It's a bit odd, that. Let's back up further. Like so. Take one more, maybe two more after this, and that will then be the cows cleared, and we can go and go and uh, go and sort our potatoes out. So we've got plenty of um, fertilizer ready for this job. We got a lot of. Uh, uh, we've got a lot of. Um, okay, there we go. Yeah, did clear it this time. Um, we got a lot of uh, spray ready, a lot of fertilizer in. Uh, uh, in Bowser's, uh, ready for us to uh, take it. Uh, and ready for us to get spread on the field. Uh, it is this sort of this last ditch attempt to get uh, some fertilizer on here. Because we're getting close. We're getting close. We're probably a, a month or so. Uh, yeah, we're at least. Uh, actually, we're probably a couple of months away from the potatoes yet. So this is a perfect time for us to to give them their last set of fertilizer. Uh, they will uh, they will do well from that. Um, and yeah, that means that uh, probably towards the end of this month we're going to crack into the harvest, uh, which is really good. I'm I'm very very pleased. Wait with that and I'm very, very pleased with this. We've got the manure cleared out. Let's back this up. Get this tractor out of here. And it's not that much, actually, today. But we do need to get it cleared out. So straight up. Into the trailer. Out. And yeah, this is this is now sort of a, a more general use trailer around the farm. This one. And the other thing we need to do is we need to make sure that our cows have enough water. So I'm just gonna pop round here. Go and have a look. Uh, they're not too bad. We'll give them a top up anyway. So just turn that off. Uh, that will uh, clear it off uh, when the uh, valve the text that it's got high enough. I do like that system we have installed. It works well. Right, let's hook this back up. We're going to go and tip this. Um, uh, and then we're going to come in back and get the T6. We're going to hook that up to our sprayer and, uh, and get that loaded with um, stuff. There we go. I don't know if we're going to put any of our uh, wrapped bales in our shed. Uh, I think we. Uh, I think we're going to sell some. We do have a lot of uh, a lot of bales to, that we could sell. We're still going off awful lot of this manure, which is good, very good. We're going to have a, a good uh, session later in the year. Lift that up. Past the gate post. There we go. And we can just reverse this up and get it tipped. 9,000 litres of manure here. Go very nicely onto our heap. Right. So, done. There we are. Right, let's get this back to our shed and switch over tractors, I think. Or at least, uh, actually, we'll just go this way. I'm just going to drop this in this yard here. And I'll watch that on at the barn there. Quite long when you've got this. Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, when you've got the bucket on the front. 
And this is this is quite a long setup we've got here at the moment. But I'm just going to leave this here because I want to park this uh, trailer up in a bit. And uh, leaving this here will be fine. And we'll have a quick run back to here and grab the T6. Because this is going to be our bit that we're using for the rest of the day. Uh, so we're going to hook this up to our hardy sprayer. We've got a, uh, a hardy sprayer in the other uh, shed. We're going to hook this up to that. Uh, get that filled with uh, fertilizer. Because we've got, as I said, we've got about four bales of fertilizer kicking about uh, for our hardy sprayer. So that will work well. And, uh, and yeah, I do like this tractor. This tractor is just... Uh, we, you know, we, I'm trying to think, we, we didn't add it to the farm that long ago. Certainly uh, has been this year. And it has uh, more than uh, more than kept itself quite nicely. Wait. There we go. And hook up. Right. And that as well. There we are. Get the pumps going and get it filling up. Like so. There we go. And lift it. And then we want to reverse out of here. And this was the other reason we were talking about uh, getting something like a, a, a skid steer or something like that in here. Just with, uh, or a forklift is the other thing. I might look for an older forklift. Uh, just to, to sort of move stuff around in the farm. Uh, because, yeah, it's uh, it's a bit tight in a couple of areas. And while our 7840 is great, uh, it can get a little bit tight for that tractor. Uh, as I said, with the, with the bucket on the front, with the, the front loaders, it gets uh, it's always got a little bit tight for that. Head up our road here. And into our top. And there we go. Crop is all looking very, very healthy at the moment. I'm very pleased with that. Uh, including the potatoes. Look at these. That is a magnificent field of potatoes here. So we want to head up to this corner here. Where we can get this uh, done. Now this has quite a wide uh, reach on it, this one. We've got a rogue set of potatoes in this corner. So, what we're going to do is unfold the sprayer. And we'll want to lift it up a bit. So we'll do the headlands first. There we go. Lift them up slightly. And we actually, unfortunately, can't. How far off am I? Oh, yeah, I need to be a couple more rows over. <sighs> yeah, ideally, we want to put our strips probably about here next time we do that. Because it just makes things easier for us. Yeah, there we go. We'll get good coverage down here, I think, with that. And that will take us up to about here on here. So that is all good. Just going to check my spray rate. So we want to uh, we want a spray rate of about uh, of about 300 liters per hectare, I think. Uh, that should give us a good coverage. And on with it. And away we go. And there we are. So that is uh, that is good. Oh, we've got a failed patch of uh, potatoes here. So it's not a perfect field, but it is a good field, I think. Uh, this, should, uh, this should produce us a nice uh, crop of potatoes. And we'll do what we uh, we always do with the potatoes. We will uh, we're going to be storing them in one of our sheds, um, and then uh, at the uh, and we'll store enough that we will uh, be in a position where next year we just load potatoes uh, as we did this year. You know, we we keep enough over to reseed the fields, 
and uh, and then we uh, we're we're crits in because it doesn't cost us anything to uh, to then get the next year's uh, potato crop uh, seeded. Uh, just works so well for us. And there we go. That is one row done. I want to turn here. This is where it gets a little bit more fiddly. And we have to here. So this this gets good coverage down here. So on it goes and away we go. And then we're into the side here slightly. Yeah. Pays to pays to work out your wits um, a bit better than I did this year. Ideally, this should be where we're running the uh, the bit down. So we've got a, a good coverage on our sprayer both ways. Um, as it is, I got my switch slightly wrong. And, uh, and we're not quite in the right place for this. But it's, uh, it's all okay. As long as I avoid this tree here, it's all okay. Which it's not. So let's turn that off. Just pop out of there. Unfortunately, that probably destroyed that rope, but uh, better than destroying the sprayer, as they say. Right, third row of our headland. We want to get this lined up as well. So, same deal. We should be able. Let's not go over the road. Let's get into a row. Yep, that's good. And away we go. Oh, it works well. This, this, uh, you know, this will keep. This will give our potatoes a good boost. They've got about, uh, as I said, they've got nearly two months growing left to go. And uh, and once they hit that, once we get into early October. Uh, we'll get the uh, the contract will come in. They'll have their nice big machine, and uh, and and we will probably get our uh, we'll probably try and uh, get some carting done in that so you guys can see it. Uh, but they tend to they tend to bring in some nice big kit, um, and uh, and and get this worked, uh, which is good uh, because the kit to do these potatoes is a little bit out of the price range of our farm. Um, maybe, maybe in a few years we might be able to afford something, but uh, yeah, at the moment, uh, a potato harvester is not something that I've ever been able to afford. Right, and then again, I want to watch where I'm putting the boom. This side, we may have actually got our bit in the right place. Let's just let's just have a look at that. We're one row in. Uh, probably a little bit over. A little bit further over. Like so. Yeah, so maybe not. There we go. So there we are. That is our headlands done. And, uh, and yeah, that is running rather nicely and it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be an absolute boon to us on this field really really is uh, there's not uh yeah so uh, this this hardy is quite good it's uh, it's got a fair size tank on it uh it, it so it, you you get a good amount of uh fertilizer around the field uh you also get uh, it also allows uh, quite a, a fast uh, movement on this, which is uh, which is also good news. All right, so now I'm gonna avoid crop, and we want to go and have a look at exactly where we are. So you can see the edge, the difference in colour here. Uh, so we want to be about here-ish. Uh, this is when having a GPS on your tractors comes in really, really useful. We don't have it on this one, unfortunately. Right, and on. 
And away we go. There we are. So, uh, yeah, we're up, up and down the field now and doing, uh, a, yeah, a good coverage of these potatoes. They should improve our yield by, uh, I think it's probably as much as, uh, as much as uh, sort of 5-10% uh, can be improved by doing this. By, uh, by getting a good uh, coverage of fertilizer on this field. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's the kind of, uh, that's the, the, the kind of uh, boost and the kind of bonus we're looking for from this. I mean, that, that kind of level, that amount basically covers our planting for the next year. So that's, that's why we want to do it. We're, uh, we're weed free in this field. We've given it a good dose of uh, herbicide as well. Um, we are, yeah, basically we are in a good place with this crop. And off, because we're covered on this end with that. Down to here. And in here. And away we go. So yeah, this is, uh, I'm really impressed. These are looking so healthy, these potatoes. Uh, it's really, really good to see. If it, if it, if it, yeah, if we hadn't, if it hadn't looked like this, I'd have been uh, very, very, um, very unhappy. But it's, it's giving me hope. We're looking at a good set of harvest this year, uh, and a good harvest is just going to be great for the farm. We will, uh, we'll be thriving with that. And, uh, yeah, nothing prettier than a field that is growing well. And this field is growing well. Uh, so I'm just, trying, I'm just trying to think what else we've got coming on on the farm in the next few weeks. Um, we are... Well, harvest is the big thing, of course. We're, we're as I said, we're, we're probably... Uh, we're not actually not that far off harvest. I think we're going to be getting into our uh, our grain crops uh, in about uh, probably about two weeks time. So I'm looking at uh, probably about August the fifteenth ish, but uh, the current growth rates. Uh, so that's really good. Uh, I think we might end up with. Uh, I think that's going to be our our wheat and our barley. Um, at that point, uh, our canola will follow towards the end of the month, I think. Um, and then, uh, and then, yeah. Uh, and then we've got a little, probably got a little bit of a break. And then we've got the potatoes uh, that will hit. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be a busy um, autumn. Uh, but it's, uh, it's going to work well, I think, for us. It's going to produce a very, very nice crop. There we are. And you can see. I'm trying to keep this as straight as possible and as well covered as possible. Just looking absolutely brilliant. Oh, yeah. So GPS would GPS would improve this a bit, but it's uh, it's uh, as I said, the the fifteen thousand that it would cost to add it to this tractor. Uh, I don't really. Um, I don't really looking uh, to do that. I realise that I've uh, I've got the wrong currency on my HUD at the moment. Just to know that we are still using uh, pounds in uh, in Scotland, not dollars. Uh. I've corrected it now. <laughs> right, let's spray. Oh, no, there we go. Let's spray away. See if we can finish this up. 
just it's a nice calming it's slightly hazy day here on uh, on the farm but it is uh, it is still gorgeous absolutely beautiful day it's gonna be it's gonna be a very nice sunny day here I think today which I'm looking forward to we uh, as I said we are just waiting now really for the crops to to ripen so it's uh, it's going to be a nice sort of time of relaxation, getting things together, getting things ready, and uh, and ready to sort of plunge into that harvest, and uh, and start making uh, yeah start making some money because we're going to be getting our crops up. But, uh, And we're good. There we go. So one more row after this uh, to finish this field off. Uh, I, as I said, as I was saying earlier in this vlog, I was really, I, I have been really, really impressed by this T6. It is has been an absolutely cracking tractor ever since we got it. Uh, it has, uh, it has worked well. It's fitting well actually with the other tractors on the farm. It's, uh, it's filled that gap that we were missing with a with an all rounder of, 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 of this tractor's horsepower. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm I'm really pleased to have it, and uh, and yeah, and we put some we put some hours on it already. Uh, and, but it's uh, it's working well. We could give it a wash down, I think. I think all our tractors could do the wash down, uh, and we'll give it some fuel as well. So just notice that we're getting a little bit low in this tractor. Right, and then the last one. A little bit of overlap on this uh, rope. Because uh, we're sort of just filling it in. But, we have got the job done. And it is going to be... It's just going to... It's going to improve these potatoes very nicely. Absolutely wonderful. And I can't, I can't wait to get cracking with our new combine on this field. Well, not on this field, obviously, but on our fields in general. Yeah, <laughs> to have a, have a go at potatoes with a combine. That would not be a wise idea. I, I, I don't recommend it. You are not going to get many potatoes up with a combine harvester. Right, and... That is just about done. In fact, that is done. Fold this up, and we'll uh, we'll head back to the farm. But to be honest, uh, there's not much more for us to do today, so I am gonna leave this here. Um, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this vlog. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from the farm, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.